you are about to enter the most diabolical and evil place ever invented. Who the f do you think you guys are? Okay, if actors are angry, we're happy. Oh, you little bastard! Look, Tom Cruise has semen on his back! What did you say? Disrupting the world. Yeah. And that's the world. And they've got the morals of dogs. <laughs> Jerry Seinfeld called him wanted to do a boy to be turkey number four. Don't you realize this is you know Jerry Seinfeld? He can't be turkey number four. He's a bum, but don't matter. my sister on that picture frame. It's super funny, but of all the butters have to be the one that sticks out in people's minds. For a long time, we've been figuring out how to bring Lenny Wings back. It's not that funny, and we'll rewrite it, we'll rewrite Oh, yeah. I think the sickest thing you guys ever did was when you. The South Park Iceberg. Lemmy Wings Returns was an episode announced to air in the first half of season 8, but once viewers tuned into the episode they were met with a disclaimer and the episode Awesomeo took its place. Thanks to an IGN interview from 2005, Trey and Matt go into detail about what the supposed cancelled episode would entail. It was going to be an Easter episode actually a year ago, and it was going to be that the Easter Bunny had been found dead with his bull stuff down his throat. So all the critters of the forest got together and said, we need a new critter to be the new Easter critter, and they voted on the Gerbil King. And it's just one of those shows that happens, you start animating it and you get to Friday and you get to Saturday and you go, this is not funny. <laughs> Nancy Cartwright, the voice of Bart Simpson, was invited to audition for the pilot. She was so shocked by the vulgarity that she walked out in disgust. Which is weird, as since then she has been seen laughing along with the premise for the pilot. Cartman gets abducted by the aliens, and they're going, dude, dude, like, did they use an anal probe? No, they didn't use an anal probe! Which makes me wonder if this rumor was fake. <laughs> There was a goth slash vampire storyline cut from the stick of truth as well as cut locations such as the coffee hangout that the goths regularly meet at, Perkins. Michael Jackson was even going to return for the storyline, but all this was ultimately cut due to time constraints until he returned in the Fractured Butthole DLC as well as the Vamp Kids. A woman has a whole shrine to Randy, and no, before you ask, it wasn't the talented and bald lady, Andrew Tate. But the one thing they haven't got is Cartman Randy. That's right, I'm doing a giveaway to celebrate 1 million channel views, where two lucky winners will win a Cartman or Kenny u All you need to do to win is make a creative picture or TikTok with this image of Randy Cartman, and be subscribed to the channel. Also, u was kind enough to join in on the giveaway and send me a Tweak and Craig. But for the Tweak and Craig, just be subbed to the channel, that's all. Check my community tab on my page for details. Good luck, now back to the vid. As part of South Park Season 20 ad campaign, they had mobile ads appear around various establishments they have mocked including P.F. Chang's, Trump Tower and even the Church of Scientology. Eric Stahl, the animation director, is the inspiration for Butters. Trey approached Eric while at college to help him with their first short film as Eric worked in the animation department. But me being Butters, I said, uh, well, well, geez, geez fellas, uh, I want to make cute films with talking rabbits. But fortunately, Eric helped with the next short film and the rest is history. We're going to put you in the show, Butters. Yeah, and he's like, well, you better not, I'll get awful mad. Promo images for two days before the day after tomorrow, Kenny is shown on the boat. In the actual broadcast, it's only Cartman and Stan on the boat. It's no surprise Trey Parker is a massive fan of board games. We've seen countless titles show up throughout the show. He even did a countdown of his favourite games for the YouTube channel Dice Tower and went out of his way to do a nice little video message for the channel Board Game Geek. I think you might be addicted to board games. Not now, Dad. I'm making a video for a board game website. If you need further proof, Meghan Markle is a charming narcissist that has mastered the art of playing victim. Here are all her magazine covers referenced on the show. To ring in the new year, South Park created a couple of New Year's promos in the late 90s for the countdown. Wait, wait, wait a minute. It's New Year's Eve 1999. What the hell are you people doing watching this crap? Trey Parker starred in Despicable Me 3, which is quite ironic as I think his past self would mock him for joining the cast as he quotes in an old interview, Fear is that as soon as I get married and have kids, that I'll, that I'll kind of do what a lot of people do and suddenly start making, I'm gonna make films for kids. I really hope I don't do that. If I do that, kick me out of this town, will ya? But to be fair, he does have a very good minion impression. No kitty, that's my papa. During the early 2010s, a YouTuber called Cooper Cab posted a video that went incredibly viral responding to South Park, saying gingers do have souls. South Park team parodied this with Cartman to promote the show for season 14. It pisses me off! Ginger people do have souls, alright? As part of an April Fool's prank, Trey and Matt decide to make the premiere episode of season 2 about Terrence and Philip, instead of revealing who Cartman's father was, which some fans didn't take lightly. For a TV ad, Jay Leno visited South Park just to be roasted for his chin. Do you have to put your chin in a baby chair when you drive? Hey! We're talking about Thanksgiving! Go, you little bastards! I'm going home! In the 1998 episode Prehistoric Iceman, Cartman parodies the Crocodile Hunters show by approaching animals by Sneak up on it! 
This was actually made into a flash game on Comedy Central's website in 2001, with Cartman going around the town of South Park jamming his thumb up various animals' buttholes, such as the cow, an elephant, and Michael Moore. This wasn't the only game inspired by the show. There was also a rainforest game which involved Cartman having to save his classmates from a tribe, and a kick the baby game just to name a few. You are about to enter the most diabolical and evil place ever invented. Players have just one hour to solve a series of challenging puzzles directly from the twisted mind of Eric Cartman. This was even brought over in a virtual format during COVID for fans to take part in, but unfortunately the game is now offline. In the episode Cartoon Wars, the South Park creators depicted the Family Guy writers being actual manatees that choose random balls to generate a cutaway gag. Seth MacFarlane was approached shortly after the episode aired with the paparazzi even asking if Family Guy is really written by manatees. No, no, no. No, no, no. It's all sperm whales. During the MTV Movie Awards in the year 2000, a South Park sketch was previewed showing the boys parroting the movie Gladiator, with Russell Crowe even killing Kenny, and then turning his attention on the rest of the boys, until they are saved by John Travolta and the Church of Scientology. Ah! Looks like our work here is done. Let's party. In the early South Park DVDs, Trey and Matt used to have comedy intros to segue into each episode. One of these intros took place in a retirement hut, which saw the pair playing heavy metal music for the elderly and forcing them to listen even though they begged to leave. I don't know you! Yeah! I have to go! God damn it, will you just give us two minutes? Trey retaliates in the only way you can in this situation by throwing a ninja star at his head, which was probably the inspiration for Butters getting one in his eyes six seasons later. Do the dog dance. I don't want to do the dog dance. Dog dance. I want my medication. Bark. Good. Episode of South Park <laughs> ruined my life. For the episode Ginger Kids, the reason being, do I really have to explain it? But Sheeran responded to this in a jokey manner, not a malicious way, and even admitted he is a huge fan of South Park. I love, I love South Park, and I hope if I'm ever on South Park, them taking the piss, I hope I'm allowed to voice my character, even if it's like very offensive. Yeah, yeah. Good on him. There's a lot of rare memorabilia for South Park, but one of the most obscure has to be Cartman's grin. Not necessarily for the figure itself, but the price, as it is valued for $1,650. The Loch Ness Monster will need a bit more than Tree Fitty next time he approaches Chef's parents. Butter's original name was actually Puff Puff, but he has also been called in multiple episodes Swanson. It wasn't until the episode Two Guys Naked in a Hot Tub where Trey and Matt started to develop his character a lot more. New episode commercials would often include altered scenes from the actual airing, such as Stan's future self having a different voice and a cleaner look. No, I'm you from the future. Oh, Jesus, this is so bizarre. Miss Crabtree replacing Mr. Derp. And Butts even peeing himself in front of the Butt Out Don't Smoke campaign. And it isn't pretty. In the episode Fish Sticks, the South Park Studios team got their reference for Kanye's entourage from a real photo of Kanye's management team. Trey Parker wrote a paragraph on PewDiePie in the 2016 list of Time's 100 Most Influential People, even classifying his Let's Plays as a new art form and doesn't think anyone should underestimate its most powerful artist, with PewDiePie even being invited to the South Park Studios and appearing in an episode, which must have felt like a dream to Felix as he is a huge fan. In 2011, the Opera Gallery in New York hosted a South Park Gallery in collaboration with Comedy Central. It featured many unique paintings from various artists, including including a trippy afterlife painting depicting Kenny, a horror-esque photo of Wendy holding Stan as a doll, and Cartman as a dinosaur crab thing by well-known talented artists, crab people. Danny DeVito is a fan of the show and has even expressed this aloud to the creators, accompanied by an undetectable green screen. Oh, would you like a drink? Ooh, I'd love a beer. Where he praises them for the sickest episode he's ever seen. Well, I think the sickest thing you guys ever did was when you had Mr. Garrison feel like he was unloved because he was never molested. Kenny's Laughing Ghost wasn't included in the very first airing of Scott Tenement Must Die. Instead, Kenny just collapses to the ground after viewing Cartman sing I'm a Little Piggy. You notice how the shape of South Park, they're all shaped like little boots. They're not, they're, the heads are really... I guess he does have some merit, as a South Park commercial even played with this idea to advertise the show. I like it dirty? Do you like it a little rough? Do you like eight-year-old boys? After the tragic passing of Steven Hillenburg in 2018, one of the South Park artists, Greg Postmar, paid respects to Crater by illustrating a picture of Stan and Carl consoling SpongeBob. Always sweet when animators show respect to other animators in ways like this. 
In 1998, Channel 4 in the UK aired Strange Idents for the show, which featured Stan puking and Kenny being crushed, just to name a few, in an even worse animation style than Season 1, which is no easy task. A series of South Park comic books were released in the 2010s, which can still be bought online today. Randy Marsh is based on Trey's real dad. Trey elaborates on his dad in an interview from 2006. Stan's father Randy, my dad's name is Randy. That's my drawing of my dad, that's me doing my dad's voice. Even Stan's last name Marsh was my stepfather's name, so my dad grew up Randy Marsh. But Trey's dad does question his son on why he made him a dingbat on the show, with his pants down drunk and being colleagues with a towel. But Parker states he's a great dad, and my dad is constantly like, why did you do that to me? And I'm like, dad, I'm just having fun. I hold my father very dear, but it doesn't mean I'm not going to rip on him. There's an actual tricycle modelled after Cartman's alter ego, the Coon, as well as a Butters Professor Chaos mask. And whatever you do, don't touch that Rubik's Cube. <laughs> Going native wasn't the first time Trey has impersonated Elvis. I wish I could tell you the context behind this clip, but honestly, I'm stumped. A very grainy and I believe fake magazine article focused on a scrapped episode about Cartman winning a bucket of cashew nuts. Yeah, Cartman, you still eating those? Oh, I'm hungry. Plan to air in season two, with conjoined fetus lady taking its place. Parker saying in the interview, the idea was stupid and didn't work. To me, <laughs> to me, it sounds more like the fans' idea was too stupid rather than Trey's and failed to fool the internet. Conan O'Brien hosted the 2006 Emmys and even had a South Park segment dedicated to him. Dad, Conan O'Brien won't come out of the closet. What? <laughs> Mr. O'Brien, you need to come out of the closet. Ah, there's someone else in there. Good job, found an Easter egg. Big cheese. Good job, cheese. The South Park inspired beat em up games from the episode Good Times with Weapons was playable on the official South Park page to celebrate the show's 10th season. You could only find a very blurry image, but here are all the other games that were playable as part of the 10th season celebration. In South Park, they changed the pitch of the creators' voices to make them sound more like kids. But on the very rare occurrences, sometimes it goes live without the voice recording being altered, which happened in the original broadcast of Fun with Veal. Want a free sample? Me, 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 me! Sample? Me, 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 me! In the episode Major Boobage, Kenny starts tripping out in a new craze cheesing, but through his tripping sequences, he comes across a very well busted woman, and Kenny becomes obsessed with her. What titties? This is actually porn star Lisa Daniels, and she is actually in the sequences with Kenny. They even went as far to film her holding a Kenny plush with a fan blowing her, when usually it's the other way around. Kenny's face appeared on the limited edition VHS tapes for South Park Bigger Longer and Uncut. Posts of Kenny's unhooded face were also at the signing, but these posters are nowhere to be found online. The boys made an appearance at the 1998 Emmys and had a section honouring people that didn't actually die. Let us take a moment now to remember those guys. Did you get or how popular you become? I don't think we should be standing next to you, Kenny. <laughs> Back in 1999, the South Park movie had an official website and strangely, it still holds up to this day. You would say if you had glaucoma. Oh great, now Mr. Hathal pissed out. Trey Parker and Matt Stone starred in the opening to a porno. Apparently after the camera cuts in this clip, the dinner party suddenly gets very heated. But luckily, Towley was there to clean up the mess. Before the movie, many fans wondered what Kenny looked like without his hood, with one 3D artist even depicting him as Darth Vader. During an interview for the South Park movie, a random journalist asked the boys questions regarding their favorite movies. Bizarre. So do you think they'd ever make a movie about a small town called South Park? That'd be sweet. I could be the star. Yeah, they could call it Jurassic Park. Or Fat Impact. Fat Rising. <laughs> Times have been tough since I lost my job. This is my last quarter, son. I want you to take it to Las Vegas and I want you to win a thousand dollars. Kenny starred in a music video by rapper Master P, which involved him taking his dad's last course to Vegas and going on a massive bender and winning big, even with him opening his own casino until Chef accidentally runs him over. On the Comedy Central website in 1998, the site featured storyboards from the episodes of the first season of South Park. These storyboards can't be found anywhere else online. 
The website from 1997 even has a banner displayed at the top of the page advertising the very first episode. But what are your thoughts? Let me know down below. So guys, this one did take a bit of research, so if you do consider subscribing, uh, I'd be really grateful. But yeah, thanks for watching.